Hello, people. Welcome to Food.log episode 42, I think. I've um, been putting off and not doing it for so long, but today I'm going to do it. It's going to be a Japanese styled uh, fried eggplant with some daikon on top. Um, I think it's an appetizer, and it might or might not be authentic the way I make it, but it's pretty easy. What you need is eggplant, daikon, soy sauce, sugar, and of course, since you're frying, you need some amount of uh, vegetable oil. So, um, so we'll put the oil on to medium. And so this is my tiny amateur frying pot. It's extremely small. Uh, but it's deep, so we can fry some small, small things inside. Uh, it's a pain in the butt to fry bigger things in it, but uh, for appetizer, I think it's more than enough. So let's start. The eggplant is a little bit old, so we'll try to um, we'll try to peel it with a vegetable peeler off camera. Um, At least I'll peel part of the skin off. So see now I look have some kind of uh, ribs on it. And just see this part that don't look good. I'll try to kind of remove it. It doesn't need to look too good. And today I'm working at a very strange angle for the frying pan. So the video quality might be a little bit shaky. Uh, Okay. okay. Yeah, I've been putting off this dish for so long. Should have been done, I think, a week ago when I first bought the eggplant. But uh, uh, this purple part looks pretty good, so I'll keep it there. This is really awkward position for me. So to chop it, it's really no no big deal how you chop it. Um, I would chop mine in chunks, I think. Just like this. Okay. And I think some of the bigger parts you might want to split down the center. Let's see how. Do I want to do this? Split two ways, maybe. Mm, but given how small my frying pot is, maybe I ought to do it four way, just to be on the safe side. So the idea is, you want to fry it. I've tried to make this dish uh, where you bake the eggplant, but it's not the same. Frying is a very unique process that um, I don't think you can replace frying with baking here. Because essentially what frying does is, it retains the structure of the eggplant. And baking removes the moisture, so the eggplant essentially will actually uh, collapse. And you definitely don't want that. You want the eggplant to retain its shape, except replacing all the water on the inside with oil. So that's a big idea we're trying to uh, uh, get at here. So let's put them out into the pan. Wait until I do the frying. It's going to be absolutely hectic because my pot is so small. Okay, so now let's prepare the daikon. What you can do is I want, uh, I experiment with grating the daikon, which is good, except it's very soggy because when you grate it, uh, all the cellular structure gets mushed up, right? And all the water come out, which makes it very ugly. So what I want to try today is I want to slice them very thin. And uh, so here's the trick I'm trying today. So instead of chopping it with a knife, which is, I think it requires a lot of uh, skill, which I think I have if I take 
some time to do it, but to do it fast, I think the best way to do it is to actually use a vegetable peeler to peel some very thin strips from the daikon and you can actually chop that instead so let me just shave off all the skin oh I'll do it in the sink it's, this is so slow okay and then we'll just peel off these sections right? It's just like peeling the skin, except you're peeling the meat. Pretty simple process. As you can see, when I'm peeling it, a lot of water is actually coming out. So it's definitely a very watery substance. So grating it would be pretty traumatic. So let's check if the oil is hot by dropping a... It's not hot. Let's turn the heat higher. Let's make it high and then we'll turn it down to medium. And meanwhile, let's chop these slices. So stack them up like... A... Pretend to stack a card, right? And just... Away. Ooh, that was a bad one. Those are bad. Okay, so let me tell you the secret to make perfect chops. You throw away the part that you don't like because <laughs> vegetables are cheap. So, but see these. These are perfect, so I'm going to keep those <laughs> and I'll throw these. Let's try some of this. This angle is terrible. It's actually degrading my form for chopping. Okay, let's maybe chop diagonally. Maybe I'll make it easier. My hand is burning. This pot. freaking stove is right next to me. It's so hot. I see my wrist is on fire right now. I'm burning, I'm actually burning. Okay, I can take this. Okay, these looks good. Keep this. I just have a little bit more to go. Use this. Why is this so hot? My god. Ah, oh, this is horrible. Okay. Remind me in the future never to do this camera angle again. It sounded good in theory, but uh, it kind of, it's not worth it, it's not worth it. Okay, whew, all right, so these looks pretty nice, and uh, I think you can make them nicer and more supple if you, uh, add some salt this way they will actually uh, look at look at this piece it's not good throw it away they will have more uh, they, will, they would get softer when you put the salt because it destroys some of the structure of their cells oh good look the eggplant is bubbling so that's definitely what you want to see i guess while we have salt let's add a little bit of vinegar as well because um so the purpose of this grated daikon on top is to give this dish a fresh uh freshness because you're frying eggplant which is very greasy and your uh, the sauce, which is soy sauce and sugar, which is actually kind of a heavy taste as well. So it would taste very, very thick and heavy if you don't do anything fresh on top. So if you do this vinegar and daikon, it's actually a very fresh taste. So let me try some. Yeah. Mm. I think we can use more vinegar. 
So good. So I think eggplant is boiling. So the key to boiling, you look at it, and if it's bubbling, that means the water is still coming out. So you don't want to touch it quite yet. So we're going to drain it somewhere off camera. I really don't have enough screen estate. So let's just try to parallelize some of the process by frying the big pieces. So yeah, don't underestimate this small pot. It's actually quite, uh, quite, quite big. You know, you can put a fair bit of things in it, and all the oil will just rise up to cover the rest of the the food. So let's do this for now. Let's do two more, three more. Okay, so this is probably good for one dish. So we'll just stir them and make sure these are fried. Good. All right, let me show you how to make the sauce. The sauce is actually a very no-brainer. You have, actually, let me try the daikon. I think the daikon is too salty. Mm. What does it need? So when you cook, always try to ask yourself questions. What does something need? I think it's not salty, it's just too harsh. And whenever something's very harsh, you can add a little bit of sugar to temperament the flavor so it's more even. Okay, good. All right, sauce is simply Soy sauce, be very light with this dish, okay? You don't need a whole lot. And sugar. You could put a bit more sugar. And just stir it up. I think if you are Truly Japanese, you will have something like uh, mirin, which is a Japanese cooking wine. Um, I don't quite have it, and I think my Chinese cooking wine is going to be too strong. <laughs> so I'll leave it as is. Um, I think some vinegar would be okay for the same purpose as wine, just a little bit. To give it a little bit of a lift. Okay. So let's check our eggplant. So I think some of the bottom ones have finished frying, so we'll put them in the drainer. So after you fry the eggplant, the eggplant is supposed to be very soft. So you can kind of kind of poke at it, right? It should go inside pretty easily. But you don't want to fry them too much so that they lose all their integrity. So you want some structure. Let's fry them a bit more. It looks pretty. It looks so happy, doesn't it? Just bubbling eggplant. I guess if I want the video to be shorter, I should have uh, started frying a bit earlier. Oh well. Alright, let's drain them out. Oh yeah, these are definitely very soft. So, maybe some of the earlier ones are kind of hard. Let's refry them a little. Maybe even this one. The smaller pieces are soft, so that's good. So yeah, learn how to use chopstick, guys. I don't know how you can make this without using chopstick. How would you individually select which one to come out? 
I think in Chinese restaurant they even have uh, instructions on how to use chopsticks. So do do learn it. It's very useful for frying things um, because you you can really turn really easily. Right? See how easy that was. Okay, so I think we'll. I think it's good for now. I'll just cook the rest of them and uh, do the plating. So give me a little bit of time to finish the rest. Then I'll give you a different view maybe, one that's less hot. Okay. Oh god, goodness me. Come back here. Woo. Can you see? Great. So we'll use a appetizer bowl. Try to make it speedy here. So I'll have some round ones on the let's see. Oh, three. Can you see? Let's put three here. Oh there's four. Let's do four this way. And then put the put these ones on the side. Let's see what about this guy? I feel like I'm making a flower arrangement, which is, I think, conceivably something Japanese people would do, right? They have a lot of uh, attention to details, so I think once in a while you can go OCD on these dishes and it should be perfectly acceptable. Let's do Looks good, and we have our sauce, and we just pour them on. And last but not least, put some of this daikon on the top. I think I put too much sauce. Oh well. Anyhow, this is it. Uh, some fried eggplant side dish. It doesn't look too good here. I have a better photo elsewhere, so maybe I'll use that photo instead of this one where it's more green. Anyhow, uh, let's hit subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, food Dialog. I also have a Facebook page. Search Food Dialog on Facebook. That's it. See you next time. Right, almost forgot. I should show a video of me eating it. So, the good thing about eggplant, when you fry it like this, is it becomes sweet. It doesn't make any sense why it should become this sweet, but actually becomes sweet. Mm. Oh my god. And it's pretty thick and greasy. That's why you have this daikon on top. Mmm. Okay? Mm, man. Alright, see you.